In my previous video, I used the CNC shield with Arduino and covered the maximum basic things including the technical specifications and how to use these mail headers and how to use the CNC shield in custom made projects. If you are a beginner and you have never used the CNC shield, then I highly recommend watch my previous tutorial which also explains how to control the speed and direction of the stepper motor automatically and then how to use a joystick to control a stepper motor. The PCB board used in this project is sponsored by the PCBWay company. PCBWay is quite professional in the field of PCB manufacturing. You can try their services at extremely low prices. Only $5 for 10 PCBs and $30 in total for 20 PCBs assembly. Besides this, the new members also get a $5 bonus. The Gerber files of the Node MCU ESP8266655 module breakout board can be downloaded from the PCBWay official website. You can find a link in the description. In today's episode, we will control the same CNC shield using the Node MCU ESP8266655 module. This way the two hybrid stepper motors can be controlled from anywhere around the world using the cell phone application designed in Blink. You will learn a lot of new things in this video like for example how to control the speed and limits of the stepper motor using the sliders, how to manually adjust the starting position of the stepper motor using a potentiometer and how to control a stepper motor using the joystick on the Blink application. Before I'm going to explain the circuit diagram and programming, first let me explain how this project works so that you know exactly what we are going to make. This button is used to switch between the two stepper motors. When this button is turned off, then you can manually control the Y stepper motor using the joystick. There are no limits. You can infinitely rotate the stepper motor in forward direction and in the reverse direction. While the button is turned off, you can also set the starting position of the X stepper motor using the potentiometer or variable resistor. When you are done with the adjustments, finally you can turn on the button. This will activate the X stepper motor. Now these two sliders can be used to adjust the limit and speed of the stepper motor. You can change the speed and limits in real time. In this tutorial, I will not explain the things which I have already explained in my previous tutorial. In this video, I will only explain the circuit diagram, Blink application designing and programming. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon and Banggood. The components purchase links are given in the description. The X stepper motor, Y stepper motor and the external power supply connections remains the same as I explained in my previous tutorial. This time I added the Node MCU ESP8266655 module, a 5 volt regulated power supply and a potentiometer. So first let's start with the 5 volt regulated power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. The positive and ground pins of the DC female power jack are connected with the input and middle legs of the 7805 voltage regulator. Two 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output sides of the voltage regulator. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 2.5 volt LED. This is a current limiting resistor. A wire from the output of the voltage regulator is connected with a VN pin of the node MCU ESP8266555 module 
while the ground of the power supply is connected with the ground pin of the node MCU module and also with the ground pin of the CNC shield. The right and left legs of the potentiometer are connected with the node MCU 3.3 volts and ground pins while the middle leg of the potentiometer is connected with the analog pin is zero of the node MCU module. As I said earlier, this potentiometer is used for manually adjusting the starting position of the X stepper motor. The X step pin of the CNC shield is connected with the digital pin D1 of the node MCU module. XDIR is connected with D2. Y step is connected with D3 and YDIR is connected with D4. Finally, to enable the CNC shield, short the EN and ground pins using a jumper cape or female to female type jumper wire. For the easy interfacing, I designed a PCB board for the Node MCU ESP8266Wi-Fi module. This PCB is manufactured by the PCBA company. As you can see, the quality is really great. The silk screen is quite clear and the plague solder mask looks amazing. I am 100% satisfied with their work. Finally, I connected everything as for the circuit diagram already explained. Now let's make the Blink application. Follow the same exact steps and enjoy the music. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download all the necessary libraries from our website, electronicclinic.com.
www.authenticationtoolkit.com. You can find a link in the description. This is the authentication token which was sent via email while making the Blink application. I simply copied and pasted it over here. This is the name of the Wi-Fi router and this is the password. Next I defined pins and variables for both the stepper motors. A variable resistor is connected with the analog pin A0 of the node MCO module. I also defined a variable VR data of the type integer for storing the variable resistor value. Then I defined a timer. These four variables are used to store the values sent from the Blink application. In the white setup function, I activated the serial communication for the debugging purposes and then using the pen mode function, I set the X step XDIR, Y step and YDIR as the output and the V resistor as the input. Stepper motor and stepper motor Y are the two user defined functions. Inside the while loop function as usual, we have only two functions which are the timer.run and blink.run functions. The stepper motor limit value coming from the slider through the virtual pin V2 is stored in the pin value 1 which is then stored in the limit x variable. Similar mechanism is used for the speed slider. This value is stored in the variable speed x. The joystick value is stored in the variable move y. The stepper motor function is a user defined function. The purpose of this function is to rotate the stepper motor within the specified limits at a specific speed. This code is executed only if the button on the blink app is turned on. The stepper motor y function is also a user defined function. The purpose of this function is to manually adjust the starting position of the x stepper motor using the variable resistor or potentiometer and also to control the y stepper motor using the on screen blink application joystick. This code is only functional if the button on the blink application is turned off. So that's all about the programming. The circuit diagram, libraries and code can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. When this button is turned off, then you can manually control the Y stepper motor using the joystick. There are no limits. You can infinitely rotate the stepper motor in forward direction and in the reverse direction. While the button is turned off, you can also set the starting position of the X stepper motor using the potentiometer or variable resistor. When you are done with the adjustments, finally you can turn on the button. This will activate the X stepper motor. Now these two sliders can be used to adjust the limit and speed of the stepper motor. You can change the speed and limits in real time. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.